Hi everyone, I'm Haley. I'm a first year family medicine resident and in this video I want to go over away rotations and audition rotations. Also wanted to give a big shout out to Picmonic for sponsoring this YouTube video. Uh, for those of you that are applying to med school or in med school or even if you're a nursing student, PA student, uh, Picmonic has a great platform and a ton of videos on different topics and they give a lot of great mnemonics. So you guys should definitely check out Picmonic. I have a link below. Okay, so audition rotations away rotations. When I was in my third year of med school, that's when I started to look up family medicine programs on Residency Explorer. So I recommend it, you know, if you're a third year med student and you have some time and you know what specialty you want to apply to, I would start looking up areas of the country that you want to go to. So I wanted to stay in the Midwest, that's where I'm from. So I looked at programs all in the Midwest region. Um, and it will also give you information on that program, like, you know, what the typical uh, step scores are, the comic scores, or like the minimum scores that that program requires, the letters of rec that they require. Great website, you should all look at that and try to figure out what programs you want to apply to. So for auditions, I had looked up, you know, the programs and chosen like my top few that I wanted. And then I would also look at the VSLO website, which is Visiting Student Learning Opportunities. Um, did get one family med audition that was not on the VSLO website. I had been looking up programs, you know, through Residency Explorer, and I found some that I was really interested in and looked at their website. And some of them have their own system of application to like apply for a sub I. So that's what I did. Um, you can also just email the programs and ask if you can do, if they have opportunities for auditions, you know, say I'm interested in coming here for residency. I'd love to get the opportunity to rotate here. Please let me know if that's something that's available to me. Uh, so that's how I was able to set up one of my auditions. I did do an away rotation in Florida for dermatology that a lot of my friends had gone through and I had just emailed that physician um, and that clinic and just said, hi, like I'm a med student. I'd love to come back to Florida. That's where my med school is. So if you'd be able to accommodate me, I'd love to come down here. And so that worked out pretty well. Also, audition rotations and sub eyes, which is like a sub internship where you go to the program that you um, apply to and you act like a intern, which an intern is there is a, another name for first year in residency, a PGY1. So a sub eye is a sub internship uh, where you go and you act like an intern, you take on a couple of patients, follow them, do rounds, um, and you know, get a better look at the program. So I really liked my sub eyes. So I did four ways, which were all really fun. They're great experiences. You also do, can do away rotations um, that are not sub eyes. So there are a bunch of cool ones if you look on the VSLO website. Um, I ended up not applying to them. I honestly just got burnt out from traveling after all of them and decided that I should just stay home and do my rotations here where I don't have to travel so much and spend a lot of money. Uh, this is my third year. So in your third year, you can't apply to some of the programs until April, I believe, is when VSLO opens. But you should definitely be checking out the VSLO website because a lot of them have requirements. And some of mine needed a letter of rec, they needed updated like TB, they needed fit testing. Um, the AMC has like a whole immunization form you need to fill out and have signed off by either your physician or I believe someone at your med. So when you get accepted, you should get an email and you should respond within, I don't know, a few days if you can. The unfortunate thing is that I had applied to, so I applied to them in April, and for some of them I wouldn't, I didn't hear back until like August or September. I remember I had gotten an email saying, oh, you've been accepted for this rotation, please respond. I said, yes, I'm coming. <laughs> and then that rotation started a month later. So within that month I had to find, you know, transportation, housing, I had to figure out all of that, all while doing their onboarding stuff so you have to do some like orientation have to do more paperwork uh so things like that it's kind of it's a lot but they were all fun and i definitely recommend it if you're able to do them so when you have it make sure when you get your sub i and you're accepted congratulations 
uh, you should put all your effort into them and you know show up on time show up early you know be nice to everyone you encounter uh, so I hope that helps everyone. Like I said, I recommend looking at Residency Explorer and the VSLO website early just so you can keep track of the things that you want to apply to and have all the requirements ready. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.